cool, cool here. I'll tell you what, you take the mic. I want you to take the mic. Go on. Go on. How you doing? What's going on? We're, we're, we're big time promoter here. Lee Eaton, look at the fucking atmosphere. Knock your heart out, Eddie. And fucking hell. Look at this, son. Go on, look at this. Tell him, tell him, Lee. He's a big gun in town now, son, yeah? You watch it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely rammed in here, isn't it? No, no, it's listen. Great atmosphere. And this fight is a hell of a fight. I'm not sure what these guys' names are, but it's a fucking... Oh, Barn Sulman. Sorry Mimone about that. Mohamed Mimone and Darren Surtees. Say it again. Mohamed Mimone and Darren Surtees. Listen, these guys are putting it all on the line. And it's like, what is it? We're in the fourth round already? No, this is a hell of a fight, man. Pretty impressed by these boys. And they're actually tough as nails because they're taking a lot, a lot of punishment. Which one, Yardy? And the Yard. Hi there. We say on the IFL. We saying, Kerr? Yeah, we're just here. <laughs> What's good, Kerr? I see you shining. I see you shining. And we've got the smiler here as well. Are you come, on, come, come on, come on. <laughs> you get me? Dean White doing the interview. Come on, guys. Talk it as it is, guys. What, what a new job. Jeez. Possibly. I got you, B. Hey, 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 listen. What you got to understand, I got wherever the bags is, wherever the sheets is, wherever the money is. Come on. I'm there. You know get what I'm saying? How are you feeling? Are you looking well? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. How are you, sir? I'm always good. I'm always good. Rearing to go. No, no, the atmosphere is there really good. This fight here is a really great fight. What's your thoughts on this fight here? You know what? This fight surprised me. Because my man got, I don't know their names, but my man got yeah, dropped here. Yeah. He got One dropped, got dropped. And then now the other one's coming back. No, he's rallying back properly still. So I'm about to do the names, but... No, the I'm, I'm, the, I'm exactly the same as you. I said the same thing. Lee Eaton was the one who... Help me with the name. Are okay. you here to support your guy, OD? OD. Come in. Two tanks. What do you, what you think he's going to do tonight? He's going to get a win knockout. He's going to win by knockout. He's, yeah. he's going to win by knockout. A horror shot. I've been watching him train. He's got his focus back. You know, when he starts talking, that's when you know he's confident. So, yeah. so he's saying the old OD's back, man, OD's coming to back, do man. some dirt. Yeah? You're going to see the jump. It's back. What are you saying? What are you doing? Bro, I'm feeling like if he's saying he's back, he's back. Oh, there's a problem. Like, when we used to train, I've seen that brother thump up bare man in the gym. I've seen him beat up bare people in the gym. He's a serious fighter. As long as he's focused, he'll go and get the job done. Listen, any man who comes in with a ball head like that will shave off their eyebrows, shave off their hair. He's on smoke, cuz. Trust me, cuz. Anyone who comes in like that, I know they're on crud. They're not interested in looks, no razzmatazz. They're coming to skin out someone. And I feel. <laughs> yeah, I, mean. I have a comment on his Instagram saying, when you shave your head bald, I know you're on smoke. Trust me. Anybody oh, coming in like this on crud. I, I, predict, I predict a knockout today. Yeah, I predict a knockout. 100%. Do you know much about the guys fighting? Um, not really, to be honest. I heard, I heard today that he's undefeated, but that doesn't really matter, man. I don't know where he's from. Is it Australian or some crazy down under? I don't know. I think, I think it'll, be, it'll be a good fight because everyone in the tournament's probably hungry. But I said, when it boils down to it and the rounds get on, then the ability and everything, the willpower starts kicking in. Then I believe then, you know. Hopefully, OD can send him packing back down under. Hey, <laughs> what do uh, you reckon about the fight tomorrow? Callum Smith against John Ryder. I know he's a stable mate of yours. Let, let me let him say yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, I know he's going to probably be biased. Here, here it goes. No, obviously, John's a stable mate of mine. He's looking tremendous. I was sparring him, helping him get prepared for this. He's looking good, looking strong, you know. Probably the best I've seen him, but we know that Callum's a... That ain't going to help him, boy. No, nah, that nah, will help him. Callum's a problem, of course. He's, a, he's, a, he's probably the best super middleweight out there. So it'll be a good fight, you know. Anyone, it's a puncher's chance. It's boxing, isn't it? Anyone, oh, yeah, definitely a puncher's chance. Yeah, anyone can win. He's coming off four good knockouts. Um, Callum's coming off, obviously, good knockouts. So, you know, it'll be a good, exciting fight. I'm just looking forward to it and hope he gets the job done. What's your do you know what? I just see a good fight because again, John Ryder had his thing. When I first started boxing, just in general, I remember seeing John um, Ryder spar Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah. And that's like one of the first two pros I ever saw spar. Mm -hmm. And them, them times they were like battling. Neck. They were like yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they were neck and neck with it. And obviously Billy Joe like excelled. You've got, you've got to remember as well. Remember they fought for the British, and people were saying it was very close the yeah, decision. Yeah. So yeah. you can see the sort of level that John's yeah, actually yeah. at. He's had a couple banana skins, but I believe that every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He said a real skin, you know. Nah, do you know what it is with him? I think that every time John, like not underestimates, but he knows he can win. He doesn't get up for the fight. But if you notice, every time he's not underdog and he's been written off, he's yeah. caused the upset. Boys, so boys, this boys. one is going to be the upset. <laughs> And there's smoke going on behind hey, us, you know. Listen. <laughs> I've got a bet on this now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't bet. I'm not a gambling man. Listen, yes, yeah, so I think every time he's the underdog, he always performs. So I reckon that he's going to do the job. Okay, Wilder Ortiz. So what's your thoughts? This weekend we've got another big fight with Wilder and Ortiz. Two, they, they, they run it back. Who's your thoughts on? Is it the big power punch in American, the Alabama bronze bomber, or Ortiz old foot? I just thought that right now, um, Wilder's got a, a confidence that's like 
crazy. It's just mad. And, he, and he's carrying that confidence with him into every situation he's been yeah. in. He's got a, again, he's, he's, he's knock out ratio, I think, is the highest in history. It's a madness, man. People keep, people keep knocking him, but you can't knock somebody that's done it time and time again, even at the highest level. So, no, 100%. I've got Wilder. I hope he wins. I hope um, Joshua can pull through a win as well. Them two can make that big clash happen because it's good for boxing at the end of the day. Do you know what? Um, what I'll say to that is, like you said, he's, he's, he's 41 wins, 40 knockouts. You can't beat the record. The record is the record. You still have to beat who's in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So, we've got to give him his credit. But I'd like, Ortiz is looking well for me. And uh, give me your thoughts on Ortiz. I think Ortiz is a tremendous fight. Ortiz! 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 Jump out! I mean, I told you! I told you! I told you! Hey! Please. I want my money! I want my Please. money! Listen! Ortiz! Yes! My money! Give me my money! Give me my money! Give me my money! You say, hey, you say you're on vain! Give me my money! Back to the interview. Basically, Ortiz is a tremendous fighter. We saw that with the footwork um, when he boxed. Um, hold on, sorry, it's a bit loud. Can, can you hear me still? Can you hear me? Okay. Hey, hey, don't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, let me next. Let me so basically, let me let me I, I believe that um, Wilder, he's, he's got supreme confidence right now. And I believe that he's knocking everyone else. And I think boxing's a sport made of confidence. Um, Ortiz might have demons in his head from getting stopped the first time, so he might be a bit cautious. But at the same time, he's a tremendous fighter. Desire. Let's go back to business. Let's go back to business. Let's go back to business. So listen, coming up in a couple of weeks, we've got the Saudi. Everyone's talking about it. The rematch again with AJ and Andy Ruiz. What's your thoughts on that? You know, obviously AJ's looking slim. He's lost a lot of muscle. He's brought in different training partners. He's all brought in an added coach to work on some different stuff. What are your thoughts on the rematch? And what do you, how do you think it's going to turn out? Is it going to be the same? Um, is he going to get knocked out? Is he going to win? Is he going to bring the belts back home? What do you think? I, be I believe he's going to bring the belts back home. I believe that, not he underestimated him a little bit, but it was hard to get up for the fight with the opponent changing everything the first time. I believe AJ, when he's slimmed down, is a difficult man to beat. He's so fast and explosive at that weight. I feel like the extra weight wasn't doing him any justice, I don't believe. Yeah, and I believe, I believe now, I mean, with the fast AJ, powerful AJ, I believe he's going to go out there and blow Ruiz out, I'll be honest. Wow, that's a big statement. Massive. With me, again, I respect Ruiz. Um, when the first fight got made, when it, it was meant to be Baby Miller, I said Baby Miller was going to be a better fight for AJ. Yeah. I knew a bit more um, Ruiz in history. Yeah. And I know that he's a good fighter, and he's very calm and relaxed, and he's a good counterpunch, he's got quick hands. Yeah. But Joshua can beat him quite easily if he stays at distance. The only reason Joshua, 100%. The only reason Joshua caught in the first fight is because he hurt him. Again, remember he dropped him. And he rushed in. And then he rushed in and tried to finish him. Um, uh, he can do it, man. He can do it. And I hope he does it again. As I said before, I hope he does it. And then again, come on, brother. It's just good for boxing in general. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be rooting for AJ as well. I want the belts to come back home. So look, like, there's big fights here for my bro Gillian White and Tyson Fury and them guys. Big up to you. You're done now. <laughs> Body snatchers back. <laughs> December the seventh in Saudi as well. But stay tuned. There's gonna be big action. But I mean, I'm gonna root for him. It's a hard fight, you know, because what they say is when you become a champion, your game raises another ten percent or so. And Andy Ruiz has shown he's trimmed down, so he's gonna be more exposed. He's gonna be more sharp. I, I believe that might work against him. I've but heard that. Do you know sometimes there's big guys with fast hands. When you're big and you still got fast hands, that's great. Like that's a that's crazy. So it's like. The fact that now you're trimming down, you're gonna have to probably the same speed hands, but probably with less punch resistance. Exactly, and I thought that as well. Freddie Roach said, Andrew Ruiz is normally better when he's at his fattest. When he does lose weight, he's never as good as he usually is. is. So but let's see what happens. The two problem is when you're big, is that you can get tired quicker and your hands will slow down. This guy didn't have no fitness problems and his hands was rapid, so he didn't need to do it. Was, it, was the, it was the Snickers. <laughs> he didn't need to, but I think AJ will do it and we're all rooting for him. Bring it back home. Well, you know what I said. Lions in the camp. <laughs> Lions in the Snickers is in the camp. Yeah, when are you back? I'll probably, about, probably be out again in February. 
Wait for the announcement. Tune into all the socials. Tune into IFO. You know. The, man, the, man, the man's made so much sheets. He just wants to lie in his sheets. He don't even want to go up. He said, Lions is in my bed. I'm going to chill, cut you with my paper, and then I'll be back with a big belly next year. With a bang. Yeah? All right, we're wrapping up. IFO TV. Boom, bang. Come on. Bang, bang. We out. Lions in the camp. You know what it is. He is special.